Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today I'm going to do uh, kind of the second part of the parts guide. I have the cheapest golden parts video um, already up. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but today's video is going to be all about Bane Blade. Um, now Bane Blade is a pretty new uh, part, um, APC part. And it's very, very strong, very overpowered. Uh, and very expensive. So let's just get right into it. Normal parts, you basically go to your APC, uh, go to this little truck icon, um, and you can pretty much, you know, pick pick whatever parts you want. Um, now there's a parts factory. So this is kind of where you craft all your materials to, to, to then craft your parts. If you don't know all this stuff, you can check out the other one. Uh, Bane Blade's a pretty high, high level, very, very advanced for you know, older states or super whales uh, to kind of spend a lot of their money. So um, one of the things that's always asked is basically, you know, kind of what's the difference between the two? So in the uh, chart to the to the right of the screen, um, I've basically outlined the stats, the attributes for each uh, kind of the different things. So I have a phantom set which is, is a full vehicle set. So assuming six out of six golden phantom parts, um, which you can see here, those are all the stats. So 120 combat speed, 60 marching speed, 20 vehicle HP, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then to the column to the right of that, I have the full golden Bane blade set. Uh, so 135 combat speed, 70 marching speed, 40 HP, et cetera. Um, and then further to the right, it's basically the difference. So uh, the difference between a full Phantom set and a full Bane Blade set. Now you can see some of these are insane. Um, so for example, vehicle HP or just HP uh, is basically doubled. Uh, you know, vehicle damage doubled, a bunch of things nearly doubled. Um, overall, the, di the difference is 675% difference. So that's absolutely insane. It, it essentially means you're almost seven times stronger than with a full golden Bane Blade set than you are with a full gold normal set, so a phantom set uh, for vehicles. The other, so that's just taking a vehicle APC with a phantom set and putting on a Bane Blade set on a vehicle APC. The other advantage to Bane Blade is that it doesn't matter what troop type you have. So it's all units. Whereas a Phantom set, it's only for vehicle units. Ranger set's only for shooters. And Dreadnought set's only for fighters. Um, Bane Blade's for literally everything. What this basically means is you can set up your units to have different types. So you could have, you know, fighters, vehicles, shooters in the same lineup. Um, and as long as you have your Bane Blade set, you're not going to lose the benefits from the, from the parts. So Bane Blade's super good, and you'll see a lot of mixed APCs, which I do have a video on that. I'll also be leaving that in the description um, for some of the mixed kind of mixed troop type APCs. They're very, very strong right now. Um, super strong. Tech Priest is an OPS hero. Um, same with Cannon S. Um, but basically, if you plug in Tech Priest S anywhere, it's going to do really well if you have Bane Blade. So that's kind of the, um, I guess, difference chart so to say um yeah so um now i'm basically going to show you the cost of getting bane blade and i'm going to explain it there's two pieces so one is um an item called super cores so there are these super energy cores normal parts you make energy cores and the way that you make energy cores is through uh, these energy refining plants, you basically just fill it up with cash, and then over a period of time, you'll collect energy cores. Uh, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Super energy cores don't have a, a, a plant like this. Um, there are a few ways to get it, though. One is the commercial hub. So every day you'll get 350. Um, you'll have the option to trade in 700 regular energy cores for 350 super energy cores. Um, so that's one way. That's a free way every single day. Other ways to get them um, are there's a benefit. There's a daily supply benefit. So you basically get 
it's five dollars and you get 1500 um super cores every day um and that lasts for seven days so in total you get 35 or sorry 10,500 um super energy cores for five bucks so that's another way um the third way and by far i mean the easiest but most expensive is buying these packs so there's a weekly sale pack for super energy cores you get 45,000 of them for 100 bucks there's um another weekly pack which is basically you get the full purple set and you get 4,000 and that'll be uh 50 dollars um and in this case that's for dreadnought so it's again this 50 dollar one or you can get two orange pieces you can pick the orange pieces um and then 7,500 super energy cores for a hundred bucks. And that's basically it. Um, now, like I said, these are very expensive. I'll get into kind of the cost of all of these things in a minute. Um, but I do kind of want to explain just a little bit more about the super energy cores. Um, the final way to get it is the arm supply. So there's a combination in the arm supply. It's pretty new since Baneblade came out. Combination number seven is gonna give you 1500 super energy cores every day. Uh, so that's $25 and you get 1500, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 1500 super energy cores for 30 days. Uh, and that's 45,000 co uh, cores for 25 bucks. Um, you also get some of the other stuff. So, you know, you get a green chest for a Dreadnought Ranger and phantom material and then you get 500 diamonds uh, but the main thing that we're looking for is these super energy cores now those are basically the ways to get it um which is totally cool but now i'm going to show you the costs and this is definitely going to surprise some of you so now here's essentially the cost breakdown on the right um we have at the top so that's your free so that's from the uh, helicopter every day um, obviously there are there are a few more ways sorry that I should quickly mention um, for example there's there's these kind of events like mobilization order um, where if you you know complete this challenge so if you train 3500 35,000 troops in a day you get uh, 500 super energy core cores if you um, you know gather all these resources uh, what is that 1.5 million resources a day you get 500 super energy cores so there are other ways to do it uh, but these are kind of sporadic events and they're not necessarily guaranteed it seems like they're going to have two events all the time just running all the time um, but that's still to be determined so anyway on the chart to the right um, we basically see the very first row is what you get for free and if that's all you're doing if you're a free-to-play player you're not going to spend any money it's going to take you 1646 days to get a full to get enough energy cores to get a full Bane Blade set. So I should mention um, it's 576,000 super energy cores total to get uh, one full Bane Blade set. Um, each piece is 96,000 um, super energy cores and there's six of them. So it comes out to 576,000. So basically I just take you know, that number divided by the 350 cores that you get every day, and it's going to take you 1,646 days. Uh, that's like five years, four and a half years, I believe. I believe it's almost exactly four and a half years to get one set. So that's kind of off, off the table. Um, now, obviously, you can get parts. Um, so like I said, this is for a full set, so six parts. So if you want to just one part, just divide that number by six. Um, and it'll come out to, what, 250-ish? A little bit more than that, but almost a year. Um, so, not great. Basically nine months for one part. <laughs> now, if we start buying some, some items, so basically what I do um, is I always have this daily supply running again it's if you get 1500 every day um, and it's for five bucks and you get it seven times 
Um, and then I have the arm supply always running. So I get 1500 from this, 1500 from the daily supply, and that's uh, 3000. So I get 3000 every day. Not considering the free ones from the helicopter, I get 3000 every day. It costs a um, dollar 50, 54 cents every day. Um, so I'm basically getting almost 2000 cores a day, or sorry, 2000 cores per dollar. If I only did this, it would take 192 days to get a full set, and it would cost almost 300 bucks. Whoops, my finger math is a little off, but it would cost 300 bucks and take 192 days, so more than half of a year. So already you can see this is kind of insane. Uh, these prices are crazy. Um, and then it just skyrockets from here. So. Like I said, there is this pack that you get. It's once a week and you get 45,000 super energy cores and it's 100 bucks. So I've listed the 45,000 cores it's for $100. So 450 cores per $1. If you bought this every single week, so this pack every single week, it would take you 91 days um, to get a full set. So three months, it would take you three months when you're buying this pack every single week to get a Bane Blade set. And that's gonna cost almost 1,300 US dollars. So 1,280 uh, US dollars. And it's still gonna take you three months. So for all the players who got this immediately, they're spending a lot of money. Moving on, there's this weekly pack. This weekly pack is pretty, pretty god awful. Um, you do get these purple parts, so you get six purple parts, but it's pretty terrible. Um, anyway, um, I mean, it's okay. The purple parts are okay. It's once a week, though, and if you're basically only buying this, um, you get 4,000 cores. It's $50, so you're getting 80 cores per dollar. It would take 1,008 days to build a full set just from buying this because it's once a week. Um, and the total cost would be $7,200. So that's pretty crazy. Um, moving on this next pack where you can basically buy these orange parts. So you can buy two orange parts um, and you get 750 super cores. Now this you can basically just buy, I think infinitely. Um, so you can just keep buying this over and over and over and over and over, which is the good benefit, but it's very, very expensive. So you get 750, 700, 7,500 cores for $100. So 75 cores a dollar. It'll take you just one day if you just keep buying this, but it's going to cost you $7,680. $7,680. Just, that's a shit ton of money. I, I don't even understand. That's basically the only way that people maxed out their, their Bane Blades immediately. Um, the super energy cores essentially pay while you in ticket for Bane Blade. There's no other way around it. Um, either pay wall or time wall. Uh, like I said, you could wait four and a half years to do it for free, but you know, by that time, the next parts or whatever is going to come out. So this is definitely a spending only like excursion. Um, and you're going to have to spend quite a bit. So now kind of the cheapest, most effective, most efficient way of, of, of sort of getting a Bane Blade set, um, is essentially it's going to take you eight weeks. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. So it's gonna take you eight weeks, which is essentially two months, 56 days. You're, you're gonna to wanna to buy the 75, uh, sorry, the $100 pack with the 45,000 super energy cores every week. Um, and I would probably recommend buying it on building day since, uh, especially for max bases, since you can't really get building day otherwise, you're gonna to have to do it by buying diamonds. Um, so I recommend to buy it on these days um, eight times so yeah and then basically just having this daily supply always active and the arm supply always active 
you're basically going to buy the arm supply twice. Um, so that's 50 bucks. And then you're going to buy this daily supply, I think 10 times or something like that. Yeah, 10 times. Um, it's going to take you actually 10 weeks. Um, just because unless you wanted to buy the next pack and then obviously you're spending more money and in, in that instance you spend a lot more money actually um, an extra 90 bucks but if you do my method um, it's basically two months uh, pretty much 65 days um, well sorry exactly 65 days from zero super energy cores um, to a full bane blade set so 576,000 uh, it'll take you 65 days and it's going to cost $900. $800 of which is buying this legendary part pack. And then $50 is from buying two arm supply. And then another $50 is from buying 10 of this daily supply benefit. Um, now I know $900 seems like a lot of money. It definitely is a lot of money for, for a lot of people. But there are players who already had five Bane Blade sets within like a month. Um, you guys can do the math on that one, uh, but it's a lot of money. And bases that have two, for example, bases that have two Bane Blade sets, I've seen I've seen those going for, for sale on, on some of those third party sites, um, well over $10,000, $12,000, dollars easily. Um, and a lot of that is just from the Bane Blade sets um, and then the heroes. So it's definitely expensive. $900 is the realistic sort of thing just for super energy cores. So this this does not include the parts at all. So let's just get out of the, that out of the way. Now that we have covered the cost and sort of the ways to get super energy cores, we're gonna cover kind of how to craft these, uh, what parts you need, um, etc. Now, I just uploaded another picture, um, and it's basically the parts cost. So like I said, if you haven't checked out my other golden parts, um, cheapest parts guide video, again, the link is in the description if you want to check it out. If you don't care, then that's fine. I've got some of the info um, on this video. But essentially, it's going to cost you, uh, uh, starting from scratch, it's going to cost you 5 million diamonds uh, to make a full Bane Blade set. Um, and that's using the speed up trick that I've outlined in, in, in that other video. Five million diamonds is kind of a lot, um, but it's not, it's actually not too bad. Um, and I say that without spending money, you can, you can get that, which is what I mean. It's, it's not that bad. Um, obviously the majority of the price comes from the, the, the kind of rare components. So the engine and the con central control, um, uh, unit. Uh, but suspension, tire, armor, and weapon aren't terribly expensive. They're less than basically a million. So for Bane Blade, basically what you need to do is you need... So there's the same thing. There's the suspension, tire, armor, weapon, engine, and central control. In order to do it, you need um, suspensions from the other parts. So for suspension, you need suspensions for the other parts. Two from... Basically three from each different... So Phantom, Ranger, and Dreadnought, and then a, a fourth one from, from any of the uh, kind of three. Um, I think it's basically at random. But essentially, I'll show you what it looks like. So you don't, you're going to want golden pieces in all of these. Do not gamble with Baneblade. If you're gambling with Baneblade, you're insane. Um, I basically just told you how expensive uh, these super energy cores are. And so if you're gambling you're losing all of that it's just just don't don't gamble anyway so you basically need f four max suspensions um and then you'll eat all of them and you'll get one bane blade part now some people are of the faith not faith but of the idea that you only need like one bane blade set and you don't need you know golden parts for everything i disagree i think golden parts are definitely very useful um, it allows you to become uh, extremely more effective, and if you think about it in this game, it's not all about you just attacking one person. Um, you know, you could be in Doomsday or Eden and you have to attack four different people at the same time. You have to defend someone, reinforce someone, you know, attack a gate, get a tile, etc. So I think it's very important to have 
uh, golden parts. And then you also have a defensive queue. So generally people are gonna have five sets of full golden parts and then a Bane Blade. Um, now, obviously once you have five, you can sort of use the, the last one to feed your Bane Blade. Um, Cause you don't need six golden sets. It's that's completely useless. But like I said, I don't suggest just eating up all of your pieces for a Bane Blade set. Um, some, some people like to do that. It's definitely your call. If you want to do that, if you want to have one APC, that's basically, you know, your strongest APC, go ahead, buy all the super energy coins, cores, um, and basically eat all your parts and that's okay. What I'm doing is basically just crafting it up slowly, um, getting the super energy cores slowly, um, and just kind of slowly building piece by piece. So for example, I have three of these pieces extras already. I need to make this final piece. Um, so you can basically click in this, it'll automatically bring you here. And then you'll see what pieces you need. So again, if you've if you followed my other video, um, kind of a good um, gamble for this particular piece, for an armor piece, is to have these three golden, and then this purple, um, and then your your you have pretty good value on gambling that. Otherwise, I just make them all gold, craft it. Um, that's all fine and dandy, and then just craft the vein blade set. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna use a bunch of diamonds to to see if I can make this fully gold, um, and then I'll craft this vein blade piece for you. So, all right, I'll be back in one second. Just so you guys sort of see what I'm doing, I'm basically just loading up my parts factory, um, speeding them up, and just doing this over and over. I, I calculate out how many parts or how many materials I'm gonna need to make it gold um, or, or whatever whatever cost I need. I, I do have an Excel sheet. Um, there's also a parts calculator that I've just seen floating around. I haven't checked it out yet, uh, but a lot of people are saying it looks pretty good. So I'll probably link that um, in the description. And I don't really know who made it, but I'll, I'll try to give credits in the description. I'll, I'll try to find out. Um, if you're the creator of that and you're not cool with me sharing it, uh, please just let me know and I'll, I'll take it down. No, no, no problem about that. But anyway, I'm just gonna continue to do this um, for all the materials and then I'll start back the uh, the recording when, when that's done. All right. Okay, so basically combine all these pieces. Got the golden parts. Um, now let's craft this bad boy. Um, so yeah, basically, you know, I'm just gonna craft this this last golden piece. Um, let's check what the challenge is. Eh, consume energy cores. I'm probably only gonna unlock this box, but fuck it, fuck it might as well. Um, I don't really care at this point. It's pretty late when I head to bed, so I'm just gonna do it now. Normally I would wait for uh, the, the right challenge um, just to get a little extra diamonds, but at this point, I don't really care too much. So I just popped a ticket. Like I said, it's building day, um, whoops, which also includes uh, parts, so crafting parts. For today, you get points, so that's what I'll do. Uh, you get 2.5 million for crafting a golden part. I already did one earlier today. Um, if you have the ticket and COZ and stuff like that, obviously. So, whoops. Let's go to craft. I want an armor piece. Um, let's craft this thing up. Just gonna speed this up. Just have some leftovers. Uh, there we go. Crafted my golden piece. Uh, don't need to equip that. Um, just gonna quickly get the challenge for that. Uh, like I said, you. Oh, okay, I guess I got more. Weird, whatever. I got five million. I guess last time I just didn't do it. Oh well. Um, so now we have the full golden parts for that. And now this is essentially what it looks like. So now that I have four, uh, you can see this number. So it's 96,000, like I had said. Um, I only have 60,000, so I'm going to buy that $100 pack uh, to get 45,000 right now um gonna pause it just so you know the credit card information or whatever is not shown but um yeah i'll be right back 
Okay, so just bought that. Um, would you like to donate $5? No thanks. We'll see later, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Anyway, so I just bought all those energy cores um, for the 45,000. You can come in here, get this armor. Now I have enough uh, super energy cores. Um, so now I can just craft this right away. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just gonna use diamonds. Um, boom. So I got this Bane Blade part. Um, that's pretty much it. Golden Bane Blade part. Um, so, in terms of parts uh, for an armor, it's quite a bit. Um, so, it's 774,000 diamonds. Uh, basically, going from scratch uh, to get this part, which is almost what I did. Um, I had some of the materials, but essentially go to this. So this took about, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks, something like that. I think you get around like 40,000 diamonds a day if, if you're doing it right and you're getting all your COZ boxes. Um, so in a week, what is that? I guess 280,000, almost 300,000 a week. Um, so a couple of weeks. Uh, to just craft this one part from scratch. Obviously, I had diamonds from other shit, but yeah. So, um, I'll just share that. And then that's basically my armor. Uh, and then you do the rest with, you know, the rest of the pieces. Pretty simple. Um, very, very fucking expensive, like I had said. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Bane Blade is su super, super strong. Um, you know, I, I can't really stress that enough. I, I put it back up again, the, the kind of skill differences, almost seven times stronger, um, overall it, once you get full sets. So definitely amazing. Um, you're basically going to lose against people who, um, have Bane Blade, if you, so if you basically just have gold parts, so they have Bane Blade, and you have the same tech, you know, your tech is maxed, you have similar heroes, even if you had better heroes and they had Bane Blade, they're still probably going to beat you. Um, obviously, depending on the hero differential, but that's just that's just how it is. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something to go for, uh, but this is basically everything you need to know about Bane Blade. If you're a free-to-play player, like I said, this is, a, it, it's kind of shit, um, and I think you're sort of just better off if you're going to be spending a little bit, probably just buying the VIP shop um, and then maybe getting the super recruitment tickets and then just working on your heroes. Heroes are super, super good. Um, if you have much stronger heroes, so if you have season X heroes and they have like season, you know, three and two and they're kind of all mishmashed and they have a Bane Blade, you're still probably going to beat them. You definitely have a chance of beating them. Um, but heroes also cost a lot, so... So all the rest to Bane Blade. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I know it's pretty long, uh, but I hope it's pretty thorough. Um, for those of you who stuck around, thanks. Uh, for those who didn't, that's totally cool as well. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so T10 is also on the horizon. Um, T10, another pretty expensive thing. Um, so get your wallets ready uh, is pretty much all I gotta say. Um, again, this is for pretty top tier. It's not necessarily needed. Not a lot of people are running around with full Bane Blade sets. Um, and then you'll get the monsters who have five. So we have several people in my state who have five Bane Blade sets. A bunch of them have, a bunch of people have, have multiple. Um, so that, you know, they're the, they're the huge guys and they're, they're, they're the ones who get the president's buff and stuff like that, fighting for LCs and legendary, um, the crazy dudes. For all of us, this other normal folk, um, keep at it keep the grind going um all right guys as always thanks for watching and, and uh stay tuned all right peace ah actually sorry about that um not quite yet finished so a big question that comes up all the time is when is it worth it to swap out some of these pieces for bane blade parts now the regular golden set there's a six piece unlock there's actually two there's a skill 
So you get this kind of active skill. Obviously, it, it changes if this is Ranger or Dreadnought, but you get an active skill that's pretty strong. The ratio is only 60%, so keep that in mind. And then you get a six piece, which is just an extra 10% damage. Um, as far as Baneblade parts go, uh, the set bonuses are actually all around better. Um, so you basically get, it depends if you have the same units in this Baneblade, but you basically get the, the same skill that you would have got in the Phantom set, but it's plus 100, so it's a 40% uh, increase. And then it's a double, you get 20% damage, whereas before you got 10. Also this countering, when countering, you get more resistance if it's a four piece. But anyway, pretty much what I would say is once you have two Bane Blade parts, you can go ahead and replace um, your golden parts. Um, you're going to lose the six piece effects, but you're gonna gain a lot of stats from the Bane Blades. So basically two pieces is much better. Um, if you take out three pieces, you then lose the four piece effect as well, which is kind of the, the countering effect, but it's not that good. So vehicles already counter fighters, for example. Um, so it's not totally necessary. Most vehicle APCs are gonna get three fighter APCs. Um, so I think it's okay to have a three piece Bane Blade, three piece Phantom set. Um, and then obviously if you have a four piece Bane Blade, just equip that. Uh, basically your last two pieces are going to be engine and central control because they're by far the most expensive. So you'll pretty much have tire, armor, suspension, and weapon. Um, these should all be Bane Blades, these two, and then just over time when you can make these Bane Blades, um, then you're pretty much good to go. So that question comes up a lot, um, but I would basically say two Bane Blade parts. Once you've got two, you can put them in. If you have one, you might want to want to hold off um, unless it's maybe the weapon um, or the armor then you can probably put it in and you'll it'll be a similar value but you lose out on the skill so anyway my advice once you have two bane blade parts uh, start putting in your bane blade parts um, all right well that's it uh, again thanks for watching and stay tuned all right peace